Yesterday was Donald Trump's first State of the Union, and the coverage relied very little on actually watching the speech itself. In fact, it's almost completely safe to say that the coverage for the State of the Union was written before the event was even broadcast. CNN said something along the lines of Trump being more racist than Adolf Hitler and less intelligent than Kim Kardashian, while Fox News didn't really report at all because they were too busy rubbing and touching themselves while watching Trump's speech. Breitbart's coverage of the State of the Union was an article reading, It was great. It was really, really great. Oh God, please forgive us, Trump. We are nothing without you. But in all reality, the State of the Union was pretty standard. Extreme exaggeration of achievements, empty platitude, often unnecessary clapping, and members of opposite parties looking pissed. In other news, ABC released an opinion piece called Me Too, It's Time We Moved to a Model of Sexual Consent Where Only Yes Means Yes. This is relevant now because, as we saw with the Aziz Ansari case, two adults getting naked and willingly having sex with each other is now considered assault. Finally, Warren Buffett, JP Morgan, and Amazon gave a huge strike to the US market by announcing their new nonprofit alternative to healthcare. This model could make the old US profit based healthcare model obsolete. Republicans and conservatives were outraged, saying that not charging unaffordable amounts of money to keep people alive was downright un American. If you want government sponsored health insurance at less cost to the government per capita than the USA, then you can go live in Australia or any other industrialized nation, Ted Cruz shouted angrily. Forefront and center Andy Unshackled, I'm Emilio Garcia. Don't forget to subscribe on iTunes, Stitcher, or wherever you get your podcasts. Keep it central.